In the last assignment, we used percent composition to find the empirical formula and eventually the molecular formula of compounds. I want to make sure we're actually okay calculating a percent composition and then use a molecular formula to figure out what a percent composition is. Let's begin with a compound that's made of magnesium and fluorine. When this compound is analyzed, I find that 60.45 grams of the 155 gram sample is magnesium. I would like to know the percent composition of both the magnesium and the fluorine in this compound. You find the percent composition of something the same way you would find the percentage of anything. You take the amount that you're looking for, divide it by the total amount, and then multiply it by 100%. So if I want the percent composition of magnesium, I would take the mass of magnesium, which is 60.45 grams, divide it by the total mass, and they tell us the sample has a mass of 155 grams, and then just turn it into a percentage. And when I do that, I get 39% magnesium. Well, we also want the percent composition of the fluorine. Well, the compound only has magnesium and fluorine. So if 39% of the compound is magnesium, the rest has to be fluorine. So this compound must be 61% fluorine, so that everything adds up to 100%. Let's do the same process, but without all the data. Let's find the percent composition by mass of magnesium and fluorine again, but this time in the compound magnesium fluoride. We know that magnesium fluoride is an ionic compound, and magnesium as an ion forms a plus two charge. Fluorine forms a minus one charge, so magnesium fluoride is MgF2. Now, they don't give us any numbers to work with, but we know the molar mass of magnesium fluoride. The percent composition of magnesium fluoride is constant within the compound, the law of definite composition. So it doesn't matter how big of a sample of magnesium fluoride you have, the percentages will always be the same. So if you have a mole of magnesium fluoride, you'll know the total mass. Magnesium has a mass of 24.305, and fluorine has a mass of 18.998, and I have two of those. So I have a mass of 62.301 grams per mole for magnesium fluoride. Well, if I wanna find the percent composition of magnesium, I can just take the mass of the magnesium in this compound. Well, in this compound, I have one magnesium, so it's just gonna be 24.305, and divide that by 62.301, the total, turn that into a percentage, and for magnesium, I get 39% magnesium. Now I could do the same thing, take the mass of the fluorines, two fluorines, and divide it by the total, or, like before, I know the compound just has magnesium and fluorine, so if it's 39% magnesium, it has to be 61% fluorine. Now these numbers should look familiar to us, because these are the exact same percentages we got in the previous problem. That means that these two compounds are the same compound they have the exact same percent composition. So by law of definite proportions, I know that the magnesium fluoride here is the same magnesium and fluorine compound here. Let's move away from the magnesium fluoride. Let's try a different compound. Let's find the percent composition of oxygen in calcium nitrite. Calcium forms a two plus charge as an ion, and nitrite is NO2 minus. It's not nitrate, it's nitrite. So calcium nitrite was CaNO2, so I've got one calcium, two nitrogens, and four oxygens in this compound. So when I find their molar mass, I get 132 point zero eight eight grams per mole and the question just wants the oxygen so if i'm going to find the molar mass of oxygen i'm going to take the mass of oxygen present now not just one oxygen all of the oxygen so in this case i have four oxygen so that's going to be four times fifteen point nine 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 and i'm going to divide that by the total which we just said was one thirty two point oh eight eight turn that into a percentage and for oxygen, I get 48.4% of the calcium nitrite is oxygen. Let's do one final example. If I have a 25 gram sample of iron 3 hydroxide, I want to know what mass of iron is present. First, let's figure out what iron 3 hydroxide is. Iron has a plus 3 charge. 
hydroxide is OH with a minus one charge. So the compound is FeOH3. If I have one iron, three oxygens, and three hydrogens, I get a molar mass of 106.866 grams per mole. There are a couple of ways to do this. We're doing percent composition. So we could find the percent composition of iron in iron 3 hydroxide. Iron has a molar mass of 55.845. And if I divide that by a total of 106.866, turn that into a percentage, I get a percentage of 52.3% iron, which means 52.3% of my sample is iron. So if I take 25 grams and multiply it by 0.523, then I get 13.1 grams of iron. So we can treat that as a percent composition problem. We can also treat this in terms of similar ratios. I have this ratio of the iron over the total, which we said was 55.845 over 106.866. And I know that the total of my sample is 25 grams. So I could find the mass of the iron because the ratio of the iron to the total must be equal to the ratio of the iron to the total in the mass. And when you do that, you get X equals 13.1 grams of iron. You're actually doing the same math. It's just a different way to set up the problem. One setting it up as a percentage and solving and one doing it as similar ratios.